The Lagos State High Court sitting in Ikeja has acquitted Mark Obiseson and his co-defendants of all 11 charges brought against them by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, in a case that began in 2019. Justice I.O. Ijelu delivered a damning assessment of the EFCC's work, describing their investigation as haphazard and woeful. The judge concluded that the prosecution had failed to connect the defendants to the alleged offenses, which included possession of forged travelers' checks and conspiracy to purchase forged bank notes. The case, which has been ongoing for five years, saw multiple delays and adjournments before reaching its conclusion today. Obisesan, alongside Olumide McIntosh, Bolaji Bakare, and Goodluck Bazunu, had maintained their innocence since their initial arraignment in 2019. Speaking after the verdict, a vindicated Obisesan criticized the EFCC's pursuit of the case. The, the, the problem is, when cases like this uh, are brought to court, um, frivolous cases, uh, like I mentioned before, um, it actually makes the, 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 the work of uh, the judiciary and judicial officers um, more cumbersome than it already is. Um, you can imagine a case like this, which should never have come to court uh, to begin with, um, spending scarce resources, uh, wasting the time of the court, wasting the time of the defendants, and even uh, the, the lawyers. So the, the, the issue, uh, from my perspective anyway, is not uh, with um, the dispensation of uh, justice, because clearly justice has been done in this case, but it's taking long. It's taking long. And um, the continue to complain about how slow and how uh, um, arduous the process in the judiciary uh, is. Um, but one wonders why that wouldn't be the case. When, uh, I mean, I, I'm, I'm choosing my words carefully, but silly cases like this are brought before the court and the system is clogged up. Thank you, sir. I want to dedicate today judgment as a victory to the rule of law in Nigeria. And I'll use this opportunity to continue to encourage our people to believe in the judiciary and that the court will always do justice. It's been a four years journey. Thank God that the judgment is in favor of our clients. It is a matter that two lives have been lost in the course of this case. But today's victory, once again, we dedicate to the rule of law. And we hope that our prosecuting agencies, too, should always do a thorough job so as not to unnecessarily delay or deny members of this country, Nigerians, their liberty for no just cause. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.